Now we travel to Japan, where we're going to we're going to be singing a hymn that is set according to a tomb. This is actually an original hymn set, uh, written in Japan, set to a Japanese folk song. So here we go. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna read the history to you. I'm gonna read you kind of the background to it, and then we're gonna sing along. Sakura. A traditional Japanese melody is another example of an Asian melody. The six pitches, two linked three note minor motives are a fifth apart. This is a theory book, by the way. <laughs> are duplicates of one another. A whole step followed by a half step. One on B with C sharp and D and one on E with F sharp and G. The following, the following problems have to be negotiated by Western er ears. In the fourth measure, what feels like an augmented fourth from C sharp to G, this is going to be a difficult song for your congregation to sing if you ever decide to use it. Though the C sharp may be regarded as ornamental since it rides back through B. Instead of another augmented fourth, a perfect fourth in measure six from F sharp is to C sharp that rides through a third, a second, Western congregations, we're going to skip all that theory stuff. <laughs> we're going to go on to there. Western congregations have to bracket their oral expectations and approach the, this music with new ears that require a non-Western pitch memory, which does not immediately perceive melodic lines functionally on a Western harmonic palette. This is quite possible and enlightening, but it requires time and effort. As for all congregational song there are no quick fixes. So, <laughs> yeah, we just skipped all that theory stuff. I am a music theory, I'm a musical theorist and uh, also a composer, but we're not going to be doing, getting into that. You're not, it's going to bore you with minutia. So we're just getting down to the history, to the nitty gritty. So here we go. You probably heard this piece before, but if you haven't, you're getting, it's going to be new to your ears. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, for the greenness of the trees, for the beauty of the flowers, for the blueness of the sky, for the greatness of the sea. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord, now and forevermore. Let me sing that for you again. I think I made up that ending. Uh, yep, that was right. That was correct. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. For the greenness of the trees, for the beauty of the flowers, for the blueness of the sky, for the greatness of the sea. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, now and forevermore. May not be correct at the ending, <laughs> but I'm taking liberties. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a good day.